Hello children, today I am going to discuss about the mirrors, spherical mirrors, terms related to the spherical mirrors and the rules of image formation. Okay, let's see, spherical mirror. See, spherical mirrors are mainly two types. One is concave mirror. And second one is convex mirror. If you take a hollow spherical glass okay, and cut this, this part, you see, take this part, if you polish the outer part, so the inner part is the reflecting part, yes or no? This is the reflecting part, this is the reflecting part. So this mirror is called as what a concave mirror. This is what a concave mirror. This is the polished part. Outer part is what a polished. So concave mirror is a mirror in which outer part is polished and inner part is reflecting part. Whereas if you take this hollow spherical part and polish the inner side. So outer part becomes the reflecting part. This is polished. This is the reflecting part. The mirror whose outer part is reflecting part and inner part is polished. Such mirrors are called as convex mirror. Okay. There are some terms children related to the mirror. Let's see. Okay. Let's take this is the center of this sphere. Okay. Of which uh, see geometrical center or the midpoint of the mirror is called as pole. P stands for what? Pole. Pole is the midpoint of the mirror, this point P. Mirror is there, so this midpoint is what? Pole. Okay. So what is C? C is the center of curvature. Center of curvature. Center of curvature is nothing but it is the center of a sphere of which mirror is a part. You see this one. This part is called as center of curvature. This one. Okay. So the distance from C to P, this distance, CP distance is called as what? A radius of curvature. Radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere of which mirror is a part. Okay. See the line joining C to P, this line. Okay, this line is called as principal axis. CP line is called as what a principal axis. Okay. See what happens when if you take if you take a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it passes through one point. That point is called as principal focus or just focus we can say and the distance from P to F the PF distance is called as what a focal length okay. similarly you see this is the mirror convex mirror this is the P this is a C C is the center of curvature P is the pole if a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will diverge it will appear to pass one point that point is called as what a focus same thing here, P to F distance is what a focal length, this distance is what a focal length and P to C distance, this is called as radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is generally represented as R. Focal length is generally represented as F. See what happens when there is a relationship between the radius of curvature and focal length. This radius of curvature is two times of focal length. This is the focal length, this is the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is what a two times of focal length. Is it clear? Okay. Now we will see the rules of image formation by mirror. Rules of image formation. Rules of image formation by a spherical mirror. Okay. First rule. First rule is, uh, suppose let's see this is a concave mirror, this is a concave mirror, okay, this is the pole, this is the focus and this is the center of curvature. First rule states that if a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection it always passes through the point focus, okay, in case of concave mirror, this is what a concave mirror, in case of convex mirror, this is a convex mirror children. 
This is the pole, this is the focus, this is the center of curvature. If a ray of light is parallel to the principal axis, after reflection, it will appear to pass through one point. That is what the first rule. Second rule. In case of concave mirror, this is F, this is the C. If a ray of light is passing through the focus, after reflection, it becomes parallel. Okay? Here in this case, this is the pole, this is the focus, this is the center of curvature. If a ray of light is incident towards focus, after reflection it becomes parallel. Okay? Third rule. 